Alita Battle Angel. Sorry for the voice, I am sick. The movie was better than what critics are saying it is. The uh, I enjoyed it. It does have a uh, ending you wouldn't expect from Hollywood movies. And uh, to tell you that, it would be a spoiler. So, uh, here you go. My only kind of problem with the film is that its ending doesn't feel like an ending. I know they're supposed to be set up for another one because I know it's based off a comic series in Japan and the uh, probably has more chapters. And it's raining. But the uh, how they left it, if there's never a second one, then the movie will feel like an open-ended story where the uh, bad guy basically gets away with everything he does. And that, that's okay, honestly, because, hey, that's kind of realistic. Bad guys win all the time in the real world. Just like what that last action hero says. In the real world, bad guys can win. So, uh, there's that. The uh, love interest, as I said, spoiler alerts, dies. And it's not like some happy ever after love romance thing. The, uh... The one thing I'll say about the movie is... It's something I can't explain. Either it was not that great CG with the faces of the robot people, or it just creeped me the fuck out, so that's why I think it was not not, not good looking, but it just looked bad to me. Either it was creepy, or it just was crap, one of the two. The, uh, funny side note for former fans of Lost, the, uh, actor that played the pilot of the second group of people that came to the island is in this movie for a little bit. He's there for a couple seconds. He is a uh, bounty hunter that likes dogs. They uh, don't really explain who the hell the girl in the red is, or at least when I was watching it, I didn't catch it, if they did. You know, that she's just another bounty hunter. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, all the little commercials for this movie, you have to see it on the big screen. No, you don't. The movie works just as fine on a small screen as it does on a big screen. If you like uh, action movies with a little or sci-fi movies, you'll like this one. Alita definitely isn't like Rey from Star Wars, where everything is handed to her. Even though she used to be trained by uh, the alien people who invaded Earth at the beginning, she's forgotten everything. She's given a body where if she was Rey when that body that the guy made for his daughter would have been able to kick the shit out of the big robot guy. But she loses, and she has to go back and get a... Uh, or she ends up having to get repaired, and then she finds her a real body in a ship. And if it was also Ray, uh, the boy would have uh, survived. She would have been able to save him. I think the leftist media and the people who are doing the reviews are hating it because of the fact that this is supposed to be a, um, a quote-unquote manga, so that means that everybody's supposed to be Asian, but they're not complaining about the quote-unquote whitewashing of Captain and Marvel. They all say that's a stunning movie that needs to be uh, looked upon for years when Carol Danvers is a whitewash. Monica Rambeau came out way before she did and was a better character and was more loved by the fans than she was. Nobody likes Carol Danvers. That's why her thing has been rebooted. Her short She's only been around for seven years, and her comic story has been rebooted five times. Yeah. Nobody likes Carol Danvers. No matter what the idiots online are saying. Because they do like her, they're not supporting her. But anyways, uh... Film was decent enough. I wouldn't mind watching it again. Uh, I might get it on Black Friday. I don't think I'd pay the big bucks to get the steal of it because I don't think I'd watch it over and over again. Although I'm, I'll probably end up adding the uh, book to the thrift book list that I have that allows me, that when I bought when I spend fifteen bucks a month on new books because they got me interested enough. Tell me what you thought of the movie down below and have a good one.